banana? What's good job, y'all? Before this video even starts, everybody hit that like button and subscribe if you're new because you already know you're on the road to 400k. Yeah, man, I got a story time, bro. Because, like, now I'm thinking about it, bro. This happened in the seventh grade, yeah. This happened in the seventh grade. Now that I'm thinking about it, I was so soft, bro. Like, why did I let him do that, bro? I'm a, bro, I'm gonna explain everything from the beginning. I don't, yeah, I'm pretty sure I did this story time a while ago, like a year ago, but I think I ended up deleting the video. So, hey. If you didn't watch that video from a year ago, probably half of you guys. I don't know if I did this video, but I don't know, man. But we're about to do it again today, even if I did do it. Because, like, I was just thinking about it, bro. It came to my mind. I'm like, bro, I just really let him do that to me. So this is what happened, y'all. So basically, my friend came to school one day with a bait mask, y'all. Y'all remember the days with A.O. I don't know if y'all know who those are. Like, the people that used to be, I didn't want to rolly. Rolly, 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 rolly with a dabber. Rolly, yeah, those guys. So, you know, those were around day days. You know, they were popping. You know, they had those little bait masks. Let me show y'all which mask I'm talking about. These little masks right here, they had these little bait masks, you know, before the corona and everything. I go lie, I'll go fire with my fit right now. But he had that mask, right? He came, I was like, yo, bro, that's it. I had a BB gun at the time, yeah. I told him, yo, bro, I would trade you, I would trade you my BB gun for that mask. But it was a cheap BB gun, yeah. I spent like what seven, eight dollars on the BB gun. It was a little cheap Springer BB gun. So then after that, he's like, I bet. So he gave me the mask, but I told him I'll give, I'll bring it tomorrow. I'll bring it tomorrow. But then I ended up not bringing it because I didn't want to bring it to the school. And that's the only time I could really give it to him. So after like a couple weeks, every day, he would just bother me, bro. Where is it? Did you bring it? Where is it? Just bothering me, bothering me. So I'm like, you know what? One day, bro, you know what's the crazy part? I even told my mom. So that's the good part. Max, go in the cage. I even told my mom. That's the good part. Because like, I told my mom, like I told him that, I, I told her that I got a trade. I traded the BB gun. And first of all, I ain't gonna lie. I low-key bought that BB gun without her permission. Like I ordered it. But she already knew I had, but like after I got it, I showed her it. But then she didn't like it. She didn't want me having that BB gun in the house. So basically, I told her. I said, oh, I traded it. So I'm about to bring it to, not bring it to school. I said, I'm going to give it to him. And then she was like, oh, don't bring that to school with you. I said, I'm not. I'm going to give it to him in the morning. Like I'm going to give it to him like at the store before school. So basically, she didn't care because she wanted me to get rid of it anyways. But basically, I gave it to him. Yeah, I gave it to him outside the school, bro. Like I gave it to him outside the school. And he go, so he puts it in his bag or whatever, right? Then after that, well, I'm, I'm not going to lie. It wasn't, it was before school, but we was in a school park. Like, we was in a school park. Yeah, we was in a school park. And I gave it to him, bro. And there's a whole bunch of kids following us. And then one of my friends, bro, L Mans. And he's still my friend to this day, bro. L Mans, bro. We was, we was, um, when we was doing it, he's like, yo, they got a gun. They got a BB gun. They got a BB gun. Every, when I tell you the whole park was chasing us, and we just started running because we were trying to do the deal. But when, like, when I took it out to give it to him, whole school started coming towards us. So he picked it up, he grabbed it, threw it in his bag, and we just started running. So they don't follow us, but they were following, they were chasing us, stuff like that. But then after that, we end up going inside the school, right? And we in class, right? We in classes after lunch? No. Yeah, I don't remember what time, but no, was it after? No. Before lunch. This was before lunch, right? So basically, we go inside the school, right? And he, bro, dur no, during lunch, during lunch, he's going to pull it out and shoot my friend in the face. I swear, to th that's why he wanted it so badly, bro. He wanted to get, he, I guess my man's was his op. My friend was his op and he was my friend. I don't know. That was confusing. He going to pull it out of his bag and shoot him in the face and then put it right back inside his bag. Whole, whole lunch table seen it, bro. Whole lunch table seen it. But that's not when he got ratted on. Like, that's not when he got caught with it. We go to class. And the teacher don't tell him, where's your book? So basically, he goes to this book bag, and he pulls out the book, right? He pulls out the book, his notebook. And I know the spiral books, I know with the metal spiral stuff or whatever. The damn gun barrel was inside of the um, inside there. So when he pulled out the book, the gun came with it. And the teacher seen that, and he was like, what is that? He said, put it back in your bag. The teacher cut the low key. So basically, I'm like, oh, the teacher, cool. He's not about to snitch, you feel me? Because he's like, oh, just put that back in your bag. I don't want you getting caught with that. That's what he said. Boom. Then after that, next period, they call him. Boom. They get him out of the class. I'm like, damn, bro. My heart dropped. Because I ain't going to lie, y'all. In that school, I already got suspended like 12 times in that school. That school is racist, bro. I swear, y'all. The school is so racist, bro. I got suspended 12 times in that school, bro. In middle school. The whole middle school, I got suspended 12 times. I, was, I can't even say I was bad. But I wasn't bad to where I got expelled so many times. But basically, they called him to the office. Right? And then... I don't know, bro. I already know he got caught. I was like, damn, my heart was beating and stuff. I thought he was just going to lie to them. Bro, we in gym. I'm just hooping up. 
next period, this is the next period, you know, after that period ended, he was still in the office. But then next period, the teacher gonna come, the, um, the dean. Was he the dean? I don't know if he was the dean. I think it was the dean. He was either the dean or the, the assistant principal or vice principal or whatever you call it. He called me. Oh my God. I'm like, it's over, bro. And then once we get in the office, he says, why did you give him this gun? I'm like, oh, he snitched on me. He snitched on me. He snitched on me. The teacher said, why did you give him this gun? Then after that, we saw, I was like, I ain't gonna lie. I admitted that I gave it to him, but I said, I did not give it to him in the school, though. I gave it to him before school at the store. I said, it was across the street. I said, I gave it to him across the street. And boom, boom, boom. Then after that, they were like, oh, you still can't, you still can't be doing that because he, he brought into the building. So, and you gave it to him. So that means you got to get expelled too. I'm like, how? Yeah, think about it, bro. It's like seven in the morning, bro. School did not start. And I gave it to him across the street, right? Even though I gave it to him in the park of the school, but I told them I gave it to him across the street, right? They said, still, you still gave it to him and he brought it to the school. What does that got to do with me? He could have took it and brought it to school. I mean, not to school. He could have took it and brought it home and came back. He decided to bring it to the school, y'all. But then when they said, I didn't know what PD was, y'all. If y'all don't know what PD is, it's police department. I, you know, I was in the seventh grade. I didn't really hear PD. I didn't hear the term PD. But they said, should we call PD? I didn't know what that was, but my heart was beating. I'm like, what's PD? And then after that, I hear them talking to the police, bro. I'm like, oh my God, it's the police. So the police ended up coming to the school. And then after they came to the school, they said they can't really do nothing about it because, yeah, when I tell you, the BB gun was so cheap and plastic. Even though, yo, I saw the guy, the officer, he cocked it back and he put it to his hand and he shot it. He said, oh, he's one of the cheaper versions. I'm like, oh, I kind of felt disrespected. He tried to say I got a cheap gun. Like, what's up, bro? At the time, that was lit to me, you know. I was like, oh, that was my first BB gun. But then, what's it called? And after that, after that happened, the police said they can't really do nothing about it because, like, we didn't do, like, we didn't, like, how can I say it? Like, cause, how can I say it? He said we didn't, we didn't really do nothing crazy, crazy. We're not, you know, I don't know how to explain it. Basically, they said they can't do nothing, the police. They can't do nothing about it because we weren't really a threat to the school because it's a BB gun. So that's why they said it's up to them. The school, school got to decide what they're going to do. So the police ended up leaving. Then after that. Me and him gonna, after that, it was like, it was late, it was like 30 minutes after school, school already ended, it was like 30 minutes later, cause we was in that office with the police and stuff, then after that, they let us go, so basically me and my, well me and my friend, the one who snitched on me, we walked out the office, and I'm like, I'm over here t talking to him, I'm like, bro, how they seen it, how they, how they caught you with it, and then he told me about what happened, how, the, how I got stuck in the notebook, and when he pulled it out, the BB gun came with it, I'm like, damn bro, we about to get expelled, I'm over here talking to him, being his friend bro, after he just snitched on me, so then after that, whatever, I dab him up, and then we go home. Then, you know, I go home. Bro, no, that was not my only BB gun. Bro, when I tell you I had an AK-47 BB gun, I had an SMG BB gun, I had all those BB guns, but they were Springers. They were still Springers. But still, my mom threw all of them out. And when I got home, I was crying, bro, because she threw out all my BB guns, bro. She threw them all out. And I was crying and stuff like that. Well, when I was on the phone, that's when she told me she was going to throw all of them out. And I was crying in the school. You know, I was crying in the school staircase. Then after that, the bus ride home, I was just crying. Not crying, but, you know, I was mad. As soon as I got there, she really threw them out. Yeah, I was crying. I was crying in my baby, guys. I was crying. Boom, boom, boom. Then the next day, we go to school. And then they told me that I'm getting expelled. So, basically, they're going to send me to a different school for 30 days. And I started crying again. Yeah, I, I used to be sensitive. But, like, still. Then after that, right? I think it's suspended, you feel me? Suspension school is lit. I ain't gonna lie. Even though I got spending that much time, that was, suspension school was the litest thing I ever, ever went to. Because first of all, you always pass. Yeah, I ended up, that's what made me pass. I ended up getting a 95 plus in each class. Because you don't do no work in suspension school. You just chill. And there's other bad kids. Everybody in that school, bad. And the teachers, they, they pretty chill. So, you know, we barely do any work. You know, the work is easy, whatever we do. But we basically be chilling the whole day. Trips every Friday. But basically... Ended up passing, but I seen him, bro. I go to the train station after suspension school because I went to a different suspension school that was like 10 blocks away. So it was, we was 10 blocks away from each other, but we all go to that same that same train station. That train station used to be packed. And I see him. He gonna come up to me. I ain't gonna lie. I had my group with me. I had my, my suspension group with me. He had his suspension group with me. And he gonna come up to me, right? Oh, all of them gonna come up. I'm like, oh yeah, we about to fight. Now I ain't gonna lie. My heart was beating. I'm like, why are you coming up to me with mad people? Like, I snitch. I ain't snitch. But he came up to me like, oh, yo, Kevin, what's good, bro? And I dabbed him up like he was my friend. And then once we got back to school, I continued being his friend, yeah. You know what I should have did? Boom, boom, boom. That's what.
what I should have did. You feel me? But I ain't do that. I don't know why I became his friend again. Like I like once we came back to school, we was just chilling together. But now I think about it, damn, I should have. Oh, I should have put my hands on him, y'all. He really ratted on me. Like what? Is, what is that? Like so basically, he goes inside the office. They say, "Where you got the gun from, Kevin?" Really? That's the first thing you gonna say? You can't make up a lie or something, bro. That's how you know he was nervous, bro. Me, I was like, at first I was like, what gun? But like, they had they had the gun on the table, so I'm like, that's when I that's when I just straight up told the truth, bro. Well, I lied, but it was kind of true. I said I gave it to him before school at the store. You feel me? I didn't give it to him on school grounds because they kept saying it don't matter. You, you gave it to him on school grounds, but I'm like, it was across the street. They said that's still school grounds. They was just trying to get me expelled, bro. I should not get expelled for that, to be honest, bro. To be honest, yeah, y'all think I should, should get expelled for that because I gave it to him before school at the store. Even though it was really in the park, but they didn't know that. But anyways, y'all, that's basically the story time, man. That's crazy. And, oh, hold on. I, I know this is, wasn't part of this story time. Yeah, he stitched on me twice. I swear to God. Basically, in my whole school, we was all stripping each other. I know that sounds kind of homo. But we stripping basically means we was pulling down each other's pants. Let's say we catch somebody lacking, right? We'll go behind them, sneak up, pull down their pants, and then run. So we was doing that all day to each other. And then he tried to do it to me. I had, But I had a belt on. He tried to do it to me. My pants did not go down. And after that, we go in the auditorium. We walking down the ramp to go to the seats. And boom, I pulled out his pants. I did not know his whole thing was going to come down. His, but I swear he had his underwear on. He lied. Like, he went, because he started crying. I, I don't blame him. You know, he started crying because a whole bunch of girls and stuff like that. But the fact that he snitched on me, he went to the office and snitched and said I pulled down his pants. And I ended up getting expelled for 30 days for that, too. But basically, he said his whole private part came out. Yeah, to this day, I promise you, his underwear did not come down. And that's when I stopped messing with him. And one of my, one of my friends, his name is Jaded, one of my friends, he ended up punching him in the face. Not for that, but something else happened. Hold up, I'm about to call him right now. So you can tell you. Watch this, yeah. So just in case y'all think I'm capping, watch this. What's his name? He's always at parties and stuff. Please don't be at no party. Watch this. Please pick up. But yeah, alright. If you don't pick up, so basically what happened was they was playing basketball, right? And then I guess they got mad, and the kid that snitched on me, he threw the ball at my friend. Then my friend got mad and ran to him and just punched him and he fell. He was bleeding everywhere. But he didn't get suspended. My friend did not get suspended for punching him in the face. None of them got suspended. I'm like, bro. But if that was me, I would have got suspended. Yeah, I got suspended for everything. Damn, he didn't pick up. Ah, uh, yeah, he ain't pick up, but yeah, he ended up punching him. He was bleeding and stuff like that. But anyways, y'all, this is basically the end of the video, man. Y'all hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'm out, y'all. Peace.